when he's not helping Fenerbahce Istanbul reach new heights with his prowess under the rims, Euroleague rookie Epe Udo has a decidedly unique way of spending his spare time, running a book club. Udo had the idea when he was playing in the NBA and admits that it was not something he would have expected himself to do when he was younger. Funny part is, as a kid, I didn't read at all. <laughs> you know, I just read whatever was in school to get by. Um, and then in college, I had this friend of mine, uh, Brandon Greer, he used to email me articles, you know, and I, I wouldn't read them, but he kept on doing it. And I, and I got into reading probably three years ago when I was with the Milwaukee Bucks. And then, it, and then I started the book club, and it's, it's been going ever since. As a kid, I never wanted to be in a book club. Thought it was, you know, for geeks or whatever. But I got older, man. It's reading is you have to do it, you know, if you want to continue to grow, you know, mentally, spiritually, or whatnot. Fittingly, for a man whose profession takes him all over the world, Udo's book club is a very modern initiative, using technology to bring people together. The club started off on Twitter and now also has its own Facebook page. I just wanted to do Twitter because I couldn't really do the in-person book club meetup because of the schedule. Um, and Twitter is, is, is an amazing tool you know, to connect people all around the world. It starts off with me sending out a link um, through MailChimp and they'll sign up. Um, a good number for us is like 25. You know, I'll get 25 people. I'll send out the books. Um, send out uh, the reading itinerary and the discussion times. Um, the book, I pick out the books by reviews. Um, you know, I'll ask the, the, um, the clubbers, the book clubbers, you know, what type of book they like to read. Sometimes we go with that or I'll get a, a recommendation from an old coach or a friend or a mentor of mine and we'll try that book out. The group has also held one in-person meeting and Udo is hoping for the opportunity to arrange more of those in the future. We had a meetup two years ago um, in Dallas, Texas. Last year didn't happen, this summer it didn't happen, had a lot going on, but you know, hopefully to get another one in is it, great, you know, especially when it's behind a book that we've read that turns into a movie, so we'll be able to watch the movie together and then go out to eat and then talk about that book movie. The meetup lets Udo take the shared, long-distance hobby of reading books together one step further. We put a face behind the tweets, you know, you put a face behind the answers, and you know, it's great, man, because you know, just small stuff like that, you can build, you know, a, a relationship that lasts forever. Naturally, word has spread in Udo's locker rooms about his reading activities, and the good response from his teammates has been supportive. It's cool. I mean, they like it. And, you know, I, I see people come to me more <laughs> asking me all type of questions because, you know, they see that I'm reading something, so they're like, oh, he must read everything. So it's, it's a great feeling. And although Udo is mainly motivated by the thought of helping and connecting with other people, he admits that reading has also greatly enhanced his own life. It's changed me a lot because reading outside of my subject, which is basketball, um, and it allows me to talk to any type of person, you know, and, and connect beyond, oh, you play basketball, well, let me tell you some other stuff I know about in life. <laughs>